Irish Shaders for Minecraft 1.21. Let's go ahead and get it. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below in our in-depth text guide on getting Irish Shaders. However, we're going to be going over everything in this video as well. On this page, go ahead and click Download Irish Shaders to go to the official download page. On this page, just click on Download Universal Jar here, and it will go ahead and start downloading. You may need to keep or save this file, but it's 100% safe to do that. While it's downloading, how to from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to the XYZ says SGH and start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, or mod packs to your server and truly customize the server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ says SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, Irish Shaders is now downloaded but we also need to download shader packs themselves. Shader packs are basically like texture packs, but for adding lighting and shading to Minecraft. So in the description, we have a link to this, which is our list of the best Minecraft shaders for 2024, but this will work for any shaders packs that you find, as long as they're compatible with our shaders. 99% of shader packs that are updated are compatible. I've, I've not seen one that's not compatible in a very long time, like Minecraft 1. probably 16. So we're on 1.21 now, so we're good. For this video, let's go ahead and get BSL shaders. We'll grab Makeup Ultra Fast shaders. And one of my favorites that I like to do in these videos is Vanilla Plus shaders. It's not as resource intensive of a shader pack as, for example, BSL shaders. Speaking of BSL shaders, here's the download for that. We can go ahead and click on BSL shaders. And then we want to click Download again and scroll down and download this on Moderinth. There's two places that you'll typically see BSL shaders. Moderinth and CurseForge. BSL shaders on Moderinth here. We go to Versions and we can see that we have the 1.21 version and this is Iris Compatible. Click the download there and it will go ahead and start downloading. You may need to keep or save it. For Makeup Ultra Fast, go to Files here and you want to find the 1.21 version. But if you don't have a 1.21 version, like we don't here, that's actually okay. I know the 1.20.6 version works, and it's not uncommon for 1.20.6 versions of shader packs to work in newer versions, and specifically for even like 1.18 shader packs, like this down here for example, to work in newer versions. So don't stress if it's not updated to the exact newest version that you're currently playing. You will need to save this just like other shader packs. You may not need to save it, by the way, but you also might need to. And same thing with the Vanilla Plus shaders. Even though this isn't up to date, it's still going to work. So we're going to go ahead and download it. Now with these downloaded, we can go ahead and install Iris shaders. Think about Iris shaders as basically what sits in between Minecraft and your shader pack, making them work together. To get started using Iris, we want to go ahead and move it to our desktop. So we can go to Downloads here, and here's all of our shader packs and Iris shaders. We'll move them all to the desktop. Shader packs can be kind of moved over to the side because we're going to be starting off with Irish Installer. Right click on the Irish Installer, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, or if you do have Java here, you click it, you click OK, it doesn't work, no worries. That's because you now need Java 21. As of Minecraft 1.21, you can only use Java 21 to run mods for that version. So if you're installing 1.21 mods for the first time, you need to get Java 21. And in the description down below, we have a link to this, which is our in-depth guide on it. It goes over everything you need to know. And we also have a link to this, which is a jar fix. First, get Java 21, then run the jar fix. This is going to take all the files on your computer and link them back to Java. And then once you've done that, you'll be able to open up the Iris installer. So right-click on the Iris installer, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. And it opens up Iris and Sodium, or the Iris installer here. Once you're in here, make sure 1.21 is selected. Click Iris and click Install. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21 before or if Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher are open. So make sure you go play Minecraft 1.21 and both of those are closed. As you can see, this now says Completed. We can close out of the Iris installer and delete it from our desktop. Now we get to install our shader packs. To do that, we want to open up Minecraft using our Iris installer or Iris shaders installation. When you open Minecraft, you should have that. It should be here and it's probably already selected. As you can see, Iris and Sodium for 1.21 21. If you've got this, it's selected. Click play, click play again. If not, you can click the drop down box and selected. But if you still don't have it, go to installations. Then make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if it's not, it's not there. But when you check modded, right there it is. And if you still don't have Iris and Sodium, you can make a new installation named Simple Game hosting.com in this case because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends but you can name it anything you want and then select the version drop down here and select release iris fabric loader 1.21 for iris release iris fabric that's important it must say iris or it won't work and then you can set your resolution and click create now we have this new simple game hosting.com profile that most importantly is iris 1.21 play Minecraft using that installation or the one that was there by default and now we can install your shader packs it's super easy to do that from this point
All we need to do is from the main menu, go into options, video settings, and then at the top, go to shader packs. We do get this message here. We can go ahead and close that, go to shader packs, and then we want to drag and drop all of our shader packs right here into this basically shader pack menu. Now, I do want to stress that if for whatever reason you drag and drop, it doesn't work. You can click open shader pack in the bottom left or open shader pack folder, excuse me, and then drag and drop these right in here and then you'll be good to go. But nevertheless, as you can see, we now have BSL shaders, Makeup Ultra Fast, and Vanilla Plus selected. We can go ahead and select a shader pack, click apply, and it will move to that shader pack. The shader pack that is yellow is the one that is active. Then go ahead and click done, and we can jump in game. We're obviously gonna jump on a simple game hosting server here, and once we're on that server, shaders will instantly be active. It's actually really cool as well. You can change your shader pack in game. So right now, I think it was BSL shaders that we activated. Will be active, looking good. It's obviously active, look at that sun. Look at the, you know, shading coming off here. We've got swaying in the plants. But if we go into options, video settings, shader packs, we can switch over to vanilla plus shaders. Click on apply here. It's going to be a lot less aggressive shading, but there is still swaying of the plants. There is still shading. And as you can see, the clouds are different. The sun kind of has some, some bloom. Is that what it's called? Some glow from it, all of that. But like I said, this is less resource intensive, meaning the shading is less. But last but not least, we can move over to makeup ultra fast shaders, video settings, shader pack, makeup ultra fast. And we'll see this is a lot more aggressive of a shader pack in comparison to vanilla plus. You've got this right here. You get the swaying and all that. And last but not least, you can edit shader options. When you go into your shader packs here, and the bottom, you can go to shader pack settings, that button, and you can change these. So for example, we can make this extreme, a lot more shading in this case, or you can make it for lower end PCs, right? Shadowless would be super low end or even just low performance profile here to get a little bit more performance out of your shader pack. So there you have it. That's how you can add Irish shaders to Minecraft 1.21. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.